Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today, we will be watching me make this Scarif Trooper slash Endor Biker helmet. And let's just get right into it. Some cardboard. We're gonna need some more. Generally, I use uh, just plain old brown cardboard. But I'm making a helmet, so this is Chris Archer. Go Pirates. But, um... The, these boxes, like the Lego boxes, I highly recommend because the cardboard isn't as thick as pizza boxes or just shipping boxes and they're easier to bend and shape around your head. But, for now, I'm just gonna start. So right here, I have my head cast. What I did, I did not make a video on this, but what I did is cover your head. You get another person to cover your head and plastic wrap. Leave a, leave a space for your nose and mouth. And you need expanding foam. Uh, it, you don't have to use great stuff, but uh, any kind of expanding foam. And then you fill, you wrap your head around with duct tape along the plastic wrap, and then you fill it with expanding foam. It's like a PVC pipe in it for support. And it uh, doesn't matter if it looks exactly like a head, as long as you have a good shape, that is a decent shape. And um, of course, it's my head, but um, you just need a, the size of your head just to make a, a good helmet that will fit you later. Let's just uh, move on. Yeah, let's not have so much Be careful with the knife. Simple. Why am I talking as if I had more than 10 minutes? Oh, uh, Marcus, yeah, if you're watching this, I'd love to know when the new ones are coming in. So, uh, you know. I'm just gonna leave. You know what? I will soon be getting uh, one of those crap, I don't know what self healing masks. This is what I'm using with a big piece of cardstock. There's a bunch of junk and paint on both sides. I use this because it's easy, it's, it's cardstock, and I just want to pay on it, and this is just scrap, so I don't ruin my new table. Alright, coming together a little bit, a little bit. And it's the size of my head, as you can see. Pretty small, like the little uh, brain I have. Uh, anyway. We got curved head. Now let's see if it fits on me. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, we don't have to really do the same with the bottom, but uh, there we go. There's your base. You just cut slits at the top, bend them over, and then you got a nice smooth round edge. And uh, I cut them at the bottom, but. I'm not gonna really need them later on. Ah, you know what, might as well. Okay, so the helmet, the base of the helmet fits. Like I said, it's a Lego box, it's easy to fit, it's easy to bend. So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a capsule, barrel, and stuff. Um, so that's that's gonna be the base. Now I'm gonna put the head cast back on right there. Now you're gonna be able to, it's flimsy right now, but you're gonna be able to tighten it, and then uh, to start going on with the mask. Okay, so we got some two markings. It's gonna be hard to see. We got uh, right there and right there of where my eyes are. This crap. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna use my Kindle right here to look up Scare Trooper. Uh, I'll see you. Please, please, please come up easily. If it comes up easily on this path. They should come up easily on my head, which is always nice. Yeah, that works. Just make a pair of sunglasses off from the construction paper. It will look better sooner or later. Let's get two little dabs of hot glue. So then yeah, don't need much so you can pull it off. Oh, oh, of course, it's on the freaking eye parts. Normally I would use a knife, but uh, this find it easier. So close to destroying this with Stormbreaker 2.0. Okay, 
Oh my god. Oh, god. Oh! Son of a... So easy. God, what the heck? Oh. Take it off. Alright. So you get... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you get excess cardboard. Slip up the end right there. Alright, so as long as it's a uh, suit of six, four layers thick, you can just put that right there on the helmet. Alright, we finally got a self healing mat. I really am glad that I got this because now. I won't damage my table, and this is a new table. So, anyway, helmet. So what I did was, um, still got this part right here. So I actually am going to paper my shade the whole thing because the top is like, it's all rigid and stuff. So, and I taped off right here to like sharpen the, the look a little bit. And then I'm just gonna paper my shade everywhere I think. I need paper mache and uh, also, right here it used to just be a barrel going straight down to this length i just cut that off both sides so that it covers the rest of your face and then you don't need that so you can look up and down it'll be much more comfortable well that's ironic because i've got this new stuff really mat and obviously i'm not going to use that while i pick my shape and i'm actually going to use the old piece of paper right here this is card stuff so you can paper your shape Welcome back to Cooking with Mark and his workshop. You might need some of these. Oh, I'm just seeing you know, these are newspaper shavings. Not shaving strip. Wear some gloves to keep your hands and clothes clean. Then, start. I'm gonna make sure that's liquid. This is gonna be quite a long process for me, but for you guys, it's gonna be pretty short because I'm gonna make cutscenes. Enjoy not having to do this. All right, so far, this is what I have right now. It's not completely dry, as you can see. The whole helmet is covered in paper mache, and uh, I put it back on the head cast because it's starting to get a little flimsy, but um, yeah, so next step, I'll just be painting. Before you do any painting of any kind, you gotta cut two shapes, oh crap, out like this and they cannot be exactly the same, so like that. And what you wanna do is you're gonna glue them right on the cheekbones, kind of like that, right, uh, right in front of the nose. And make sure the paper mache is dry because then you'll be able to work much better in it. Then what you gotta do is cut one rectangle out of some cardboard Lego box and then bend it around your forehead. Cut seams at the top and then fold them over. After that, you should be able to fit it back onto your helmet and then rubber cement it and then seal it up with hot glue. Then what you gotta do is mix together some brown and some light paint, and then you should get this like ugly greenish color right now. Then just paint the entire thing, and then you should look like you took a piece of a tree and made it into a helmet. Also what I did is I got these two triangles, and then you get two pieces of cardboard, fit them with a curve around the forehead to make like that visor shape. And I uh, just put these on this side. I still use the brown, and I squirt some white all over to make it look like it's camouflage. And here is the finished project. Hope you guys like it. Comment down below what you want me to make next. Just a reminder, this is not a specific Star Wars helmet. It's a helmet with all aspects from the Stormtrooper. There is the Endor camera with the biker helmet uh, visor on the top. And the Scare Trooper face look to it. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.